Alright, today I'm going to show you how to flash Fire 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 Bootloader and Twerp Recovery on a Kindle Fire 1 um, running update 6.3.3 um, without a factory cable. Um, until uh, um, Unknown One posted this today, um, no one had figured out how to uh, do this without a factory cable methods weren't working with this update. So, um, the first w thing you need to do is you need to root the Kindle Fire. Um, I posted um, how to do that um, on this thread here. Um, you just need to uh, use safe root. Um, it's not too hard. Um, once you have it rooted, um, you need to download FB mode um, from this file here. Um, um, but the um, commands aren't quite right on this one here, but you do need this FB, F mode, FB mode zip, um, and you need to unzip it. Um, once you have that, you need to um, also have ADB files and your fastboot file. And this is your, uh, after you unzipped it, um, you have this FB mode file. And then you're also going to need a Fire 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 bootloader and a twerp recovery file. Uh, there's several different twerp recovery files that'll work fine. Um, and I just placed those in uh, on C drive in a folder named ADB. Uh, it just makes it easy for me. Um, Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we need to open a command prompt. I'll put, close that. Um, go to all programs, accessories, command prompt. And you need to change the directory, cd slash, um, and the folder name. Um, and then uh, you need to do a adb push. For that um, FB mode file. So you just uh, type that, make sure that uh, it has, right, has a space, a space, and a space there, and enter. Um, it takes a, sec a split second to um, push that file. Then we need to um, change the permissions fix the permissions for that file and um, I should have done it um, and then you need to run these commands here adb shell and then su then uh, cd space data um, slash local dot uh, dash to temp enter um, and this f dot slash fb mode enter and exit exit. Okay. And then you should do um, should do an ADB reboot. Now, the Kindle is going to reboot to fastboot mode, mode. Um, and it'll stay there, um, I'm not sure if it'll stay there indefinitely, but it'll stay there for several minutes anyways. Okay, so now, we need to find my commands. Uh, command prompt you do uh, flash
flash the recovery, flash the bootloader, um, change the boot mode back to normal mode, um, and then reboot. Um, now these, uh, if you're using a different uh, recovery, you need to um, make sure the command has the f file name that you're using and um, and the boot loader that you're using. Um, all right, so I'm just going to do a, a batch here. Right, sending recovery, sending boot uh, and uh, bootloader, and it says writing and um, it changed the boot mode. Um, the last command you had to enter in a reboot. There we go. Here's our new bootloader. Now, if you just press and hold, um, it'll scroll through the normal boot recovery um, and reset mode. Um, Oh, and if you go too far, uh, hold it too long, it will reboot the device, and you'll have to do it again. I'll actually have to power it down, to power it back on. So you don't want to do that too long. But you just have to hold the button down, and then release to select the the option you want. I select recovery. Let me show you what it looks like. From recovery, you can. Um, you have lots of options. You can um, install a ROM. Just need to make sure that the um, the twerp recovery you install is compatible with the ROM you want. I have a list of uh, flashable recoveries. Once you have a recovery, you can flash a new one on in here. Um, just using the install, um, select the file you want. Um, you can make backups. Um, you can wipe uh, your cache, Delvic, factory reset system. Uh, you can wipe your SD card if you want. Um, you can mount your SD card um, and uh, drag and drop files to your Kindle. Um, it's a nice handy feature. All right. Now you have your Fire 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 bootloader in your twerp recovery. Um, now if you want to reboot to um, stock system, it's just that easy. Close your command prompt and that was it. Just take a moment to um, finish booting and you'll be back, back at stock. Um, System version 6.3.3. Thanks for watching.